Hello and welcome to Western Supermare with me and special guest Backpacker Ben. We're in Western Supermare today to explore and to find out whether or not the town matches the reputation that it has nationwide. Let's find out whether or not this once thriving Victorian town is as dangerous and as poverty ravaged as they say. Let's go. So me and Ben now, we're just approaching the town centre. We're going to head in. So we're here guys in the Italian gardens of Western Supermare and we're here with some of the homeless. We're going to try and tell their story. And Tom, tell me your story mate. How long have you been on the streets for? I was on the streets for about two and a half years. Well, nearly two years. It's terrible mate, isn't it? Yeah, and, and likewise, guys, is it the same? Yeah. The same for you? Yeah. Well, my friend, nobody yeah, cares. Born and bred in this town, and no one wants to. No one wants to know. And people forget. People walk past on the street and they cast an eye, but they forget. A lot of people are only one paycheck away from being here. We do see them after dark. Me and Ben have just shot off the main promenade now, and we're just walking the back streets of Western. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of the history about Western and where it gets its very unusual name from: Western Supermare. So Western comes from the old Saxon word Weston, which means place to the west. Super comes from the Latin for above, as in superimpose. And mare or mare, as it was once pronounced, means sea or by the sea in Latin. So Western supermare literally means place to the west, above the sea. So I'm just walking the back streets now with Ben, as we said. Um, we've just come past an old pub. It used to be the Majors back in my day. And now, once again, the common thread of Western, abandoned and left to rot. Well, Ben, what can you see? Let why the viewers know. So why is there a trolley at the feet? Straight off the main promenade, this is what you're greeted with. So if you as a holiday maker, there's the sea. You walk 50 metres off the main promenade, and this is what you're greeted with. Here we are, overlooking Burnbeck Pier. So, Ben. What's your thoughts on Western? My first time in Western Supermare. This could be the last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mate, it's pretty grim, isn't it? What's going on here behind it's us? It's not great, mate. It's not great. So, guys, you can see there, that was built in 1867, and that served the purpose of being a ferry dock for a paddle steamer that would travel all the way from Cardiff Bay to Western, and it would bring the Welsh across for their day trips here to Western. Of course, this pre-existed the Severn Bridge and the motorways, so it was a very, very busy enterprise. Completely rotten away and abandoned. So we're walking along the promenade now into the main town and as you can see it's in a real state of disrepair. Graffiti everywhere, rubble. Certainly not a good sight. There in the distance you can see Steep Home Island. Wow! It's not looking good, Ben, is it, mate? Joe, mate, what's going on here? Buddy. There was a big hotel here back in the day, um, but that burnt down, I think, in the 2000s. <laughs> it burned down. <laughs> mate, and, yeah, well, it's just been left, isn't it? I mean, look at Demolished that. and completely left. Another place that's left to rot. You can see behind me there, there is some holiday makers that still do come to Western. However, they are losing thousands and thousands each year. More boarded up buildings in a state of disrepair. These once grand Victorian seaside hotels would have housed the holiday makers that come to Western on their trips. But now, as you can see, completely left to rot and abandoned. So Ben, a bit of a shocker for you, mate, eh? Mate. I need some antidepressants. So, uh, <laughs> what's going on here? Well, there has been numerous articles stating that Western is the most depressing seaside town in the so UK. I've heard. But then people come here in the summer or what? Yeah, mate. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely thriving in the summer. It's really, they, really busy. Where are they coming from? London, maybe Birmingham. There's a lot of um, a lot of people from Birmingham come down to Western. So if we head up, yeah, if we head up these stairs yeah, here, mate, we'll get to the front of there. Away, yeah. Don't walk to the don't don't walk too close to the edges, it'll be piss soaked. <laughs> so just heading up now off the promenade. Just gonna go and show Ben some of the old abandoned hotels here. It's a real shame, isn't it? Is this one open? This one looks that one's open, the Anchorhead Hotel. This one clearly isn't. I mean, but this cool. one's clearly not. You can imagine it back in its day, this would have been a grand terraced Victorian yeah, look at the period buildings. Like 
Yeah, look at that. And you've got to think, guys, as well, back then, they would have hand-carved all of that masonry. The time and labour it would have taken was insane. Hey, look down here. Oh, here we go. I bet you haven't even seen this. I've not even seen this, mate. Wow. Check it out. All of this is literally just off the main promenade. So the holiday makers and the tourists that are coming to Western, for sure, they would walk past all of this. They'd see all of this. It's not great. It's yeah, not great. There saying, mind the step. What about this guy? <laughs> you mind a 10 foot drop to death. Yeah. Right? It's, it's rough, isn't it? More rubble. So having grown up in this town, it's a really sad sight to see, actually, that a lot of these once great, grand hotels are now closed and abandoned. There seems to be a bit of a theme now in West End, abandoned and left to rot. So I just had a lovely chat with one of the hoteliers in the distance there. Uh, he didn't want to be on camera, but he's just stated that he's actually waiting for a coach now. Of visitors down to Western from Birmingham. Um, and he said often they have the exact same reaction when they pull up to the hotel down here. They're shocked. They're shocked at the state of disrepair that Western is currently in. Marine Lake. Just had a lovely local come and inform us that Marine Lake, although it's closed now, as you can see behind us, in 21 days, it will be reopened. They are draining the pool and removing all of the silt buildup along the bottom. Maybe there's another leakage of E. coli. There you go, mate. Or radioactive, whatever, who knows? Well, it doesn't bode well, does it? No, it does not. There you go, 21 days, it will be open again. Perfect. There you go, guys. Get <laughs> down there and get in there. <laughs> If you're brave enough. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Just strolling along the promenade now with Ben. Lovely. Lovely. So, Western is the second largest seaside resort on the west coast of England. Second only to Blackpool. And I know Ben spent some time in Blackpool. Mate? Don't remind me of that time. <laughs> <laughs> Similar vibes or what? It's pretty spot on to be fair. Mm. Um, apart from, um, it's a lot more quiet at this current time of the year. Yeah. Blackpool was quite busy when we went during, I think, late summer when I went there like, a couple of years ago. So, you know, definitely quieter, but similar vibes. So, fish and chips. Fish and chips, cheap beer. That's it. And cheap nightclubs. That's there you go. Beer. That's Western Supermare for you. So you can see here, the beach to Marine Lake. In the summertime, this fills up really, really quickly. And you get the holiday makers going in and taking a dip in Marine Lake. Just inside the local shopping centre of Western Supermare here, you can see the closed down Wilkinson's building. Wilco's. The Wilco's. Shut, it's, it's completely shut, bankrupt, thousands of jobs lost. And there you go, shut up and abandoned. That continued theme of Western. <laughs> I will say though, Ben, other than Wilco's, I'm pretty sure that most of the shops are actually open. Yeah, it's Which not too is bad here. Probably one of the um, the only positives that we found from today, isn't it, mate? Yeah. I've been initially brought Ben here to hopefully dispel a lot of the rumours and the articles that have been written about Western, but so far I'm not doing the best job, mate, am mate, I? Rumours are true, unfortunately. The rumours are true. Strolling down Western High Street now. Ben, what's your thoughts, mate? It is alright. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, this, it's the High Street's not too bad at all. It makes a change. There's not as many boarded up shops as there are in a lot of other spots in the UK. And I will say, it certainly looks to have improved since the last time I was in Western. Walked to the end of the high street and there, a major bone of contention within the town. The carrot. Using hundreds of thousands of pounds of taxpayers' money to build this. This monstrosity. You can see behind me, most of the shops here on these back streets are closed, boarded up, abandoned. I think the reputation that Western has of a once thriving Victorian seaside town that's now ravaged by poverty, I think they're true. And I think it's very apparent when you look around the town and you see all the shops, the boarded up shops, the people on the streets. Unfortunately, this is the Britain that we are living in at the moment. 
in all honesty guys, I did come here and was trying to paint a more positive picture than the one that's being displayed to you now. But I've got to be real with you and I've got to show you what we're really seeing here in Western Supermare. Not good Ben, is it? Not good, but good people. I like Good I like people, people, mate. Good we will people. definitely say that. Um, we've had some really lovely interactions actually with a few of the locals of Western. So big shout out to you guys and thank you for that. Again, another abandoned building in Western Supermare. This was once the Odeon. It housed the cinema, Ben, back in his day, mate. It was open. I think it's actually still open, believe it or not. Sorry, boss. Go some regeneration work going on in Western. It doesn't even look like it's open, mate, does it? But it is. Lights are on. Yeah, you know, it is open. What, what people go in there and watch a movie? It's, it's crazy, Ben, isn't it? They're probably still showing all 1980 movies. Right. There you go. Just as you said that, Ben. There you go. <laughs> Ben's just said that they're probably showing movies from the 1980s and bang. <laughs> Monty Python and the Holy Grail. There you go, mate. That was crazy. I can't believe he said that and then bang, there's the advertisement board for it. In 1840, the Great Western Railway finally arrived in Western. Built by the Great Isambard Kingdom Brunel, this changed tourism in the town forever. The railway would allow coal miners from Bristol and surrounding areas to come to Western on a day trip, and this was revolutionary. The second thing that changed Western forever was the construction of Birnbeck Pier. Built in 1867, and originally used as a dock for the old paddle steam ferry. So we've been in Western now for a few hours, Ben, and mate, it's well, been a bit of a shocker, bro, really, isn't it? It's been a shocker, but the people are awesome. Yeah. And I, I reckon if I came here with my mates, it'd be an awesome night out. You would have a good, you would have a good time, mate. I because can assure you that. The locals are a good laugh. Yeah. And you can tell what like the atmosphere would be good on a night out as well. So I can guarantee this summer I'm back with the boys. Yeah, me buddy. Western, me, Joe, Mr. Bold's coming. Uh, up for it, mate. Let's do up it. Up for it, mate. One of the newest developments within Western. You can see there the All Stars Sports Bowl. It's a big bowling alley. You've got a Nando's. You've got a Cine World. So there was a lot of investment piled into this area. But the last time I walked around here, a lot of the shops were actually empty. Ben, we'll walk around, mate, and let's go and see if they are still empty. Because like yeah. the last time I was here, a lot of these were empty, mate. So we've just walked around, and out of the one, two, three, four, five, six premises here, two are currently empty. There's an old Prezzo there that's now null and void. There's a comedy bar there. There's another spot there that's empty. Sad. Even the new developments in Western are struggling to keep tenants in the buildings. Pretty crazy to see, mate, isn't it? All of these new, yeah. these new style buildings just left empty. It looks like a zombie apocalypse around here. It does, doesn't it? That's yeah. a really good way to describe it. That's... The day after tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, like that um, type of vibe. Yeah. What's that movie? Twenty eight days later. Twenty eight days later, they, they filmed um, Hot Fuzz just really? down the road from here. Oh, so they filmed it in uh, Bristol. Yeah, they filmed it in Wells. Oh, that's it. Wells, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's got your accent, that guy, hasn't he? He has got my accent, <laughs> mate, yeah. If you've not seen my video on Wells, do check it out, guys. I'll pop it in the description below. The beach is that way. Some of the street art here in Western, I think they held a competition a few years ago whereby they would come and paint the sides of these sort of run-down, dilapidated buildings, try and bring a bit of colour to them. There behind me guys, you can see the Grand Pier, originally constructed in 1904. It then suffered a fire in the 1930s and was then rebuilt in a very typical 1930s fashion in that Art Deco style. And then subsequently there was another fire on the pier in the 2000s and it was rebuilt in a much more modern style. So we just tried to get onto the pier, but with it being off season, it is currently closed at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. However, 
my research for this video did lead me to believe that a lot of the rides are currently out of order due to safety concerns. So maybe it's a blessing. So we've headed down onto Western Seafront to show Backpacker Ben the delights of Western Supermare, home to the second highest tidal range in the world. And there is the Grand Pier. It was constructed in 2008, following a fire. You can see the sea behind me, guys. And that was what put Western Supermare on the map thousands of years ago. With the ancient dock down at Uphill, which was the main dock for the largest lead mine in the Roman Empire that was located in the Mendip Hills overlooking Western. So the metal traders would come, sail into Uphill, would dock the boats, and then they would travel up into the Mendip Hills that are overlooking Western and head to the largest lead mine of the Roman Empire. Ben, we've come to the end oh. of our trip in Western today. What's your thoughts, mate? Mate, my eyes have been opened to what it's like here really for a lot of people, but I'm not surprised. I mm. knew, kind of knew it would be like, like, like this. Yeah. Because I've seen it in other places like Jay Wick and whatnot, but mate, this is it. This is England, mate. And this people is don't England. know it. They don't know it. This is the real Britain, as they say, Ben. But I'd like to say one more thing. The people here are legends and very friendly. Everyone. There was a lot of off camera interactions. Yeah, there film. was, mate. There was. Top, really friendly. We so. didn't have any instance where we felt sort of nah. odd or. Nah. Anything like that. The locals of Western today have been really, really forthcoming with chats, mm -hmm. friendly. And in fact, the friendliest bunch that we came across today were the homeless. On the bench. In, on the bench. Yeah. The ones Definitely. that you'd normally cross the road to try and, you know, avoid. Turned out being the friendliest bunch. So there you go. Go have a chat with them. Go mate. and have a chat with They're them. They're funny, mate. They have a good laugh. That's it. Everyone's yeah. got a story to, to tell, guys. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, do help out and do remember those forgotten people of the UK. We'll see you on the next one. Yes. Well guys, our time in Western Supermare is over. I've just dropped Backpacker Ben back to his car. Big shout out to Backpacker Ben. Thank you so much for coming down today and spending the day with me. It's been a real pleasure, mate. So thank you so much. Well guys, did Western Supermare surprise you? Did it keep in line with the reputation that it seems to have nationwide? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts were on Western Supermare. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.